and the Debrinic Channel is back, and today we are looking at Lake Oroville. We're going to get right into it. Lake Oroville is continued to increase. We'll be looking at Lake Folsom and Lake Shasta. I have everything you need to know. There is a ton of rain coming to Northern California, and I want to get right into it. So let's roll right out to windy.com. Look at that fog at the lake. As we roll out to windy.com like we always do, check out up here, Mount Shasta area. They're predicting 17.22 inches of precipitation in the next 10 days you go to gfs it's not as aggressive but it's still fairly aggressive 15.53 so as we scoot out a little bit you can see that the entire california is going to be soaking wet some of it's going to be rain some of it's going to be snow 15 to 17 inches so up by mount shasta they're calling for quite a bit of snow 141 inches so a lot of this is going to be snow up here which is good later i will show you the chart for that and you can see up here by Lake Oroville too they're talking about 87 inches 93 inches in the Sierra in general this could possibly take us over the 100 mark for April 1st if this really happens so we'll be watching to see if this is the case and if it's so then we will see the GFS it's not as intense so the GFS is saying more rain than snow and the Europeans calling for a lot more snow so we'll have to wait and see on that one let's go back out to the rain again accumulation now look up here like all around the area 15 16 so lake shasta trinity you guys are going to get in on the precipitation we got new subscribers over in eureka 10 plus inches in eureka let's go to the gfs and see if that's accurate 7.95 so anywhere between 10 and 7 we go up to crescent city 8.29 happy camp 6.92 we come down to lake orville you can see 11.44 inches 12 inches or so possible another 12 inches on top of what you already received that's just crazy 6.28 in yuba the valley is soaking wet as we check sacramento here you can see about five inches and is the gfs calling for more a little bit less so anywhere between four or five inches possible in the next 10 days lake Folsom 7.33 and i gotta show you the charts i was just taking a peek at those earlier you got a whole six to seven eight inches possible coming here my friends in bakersfield 1.9 six so you guys are going to get in on the action look how wet it is along the coast over here like santa marie 5.9 santa barbara 6.25 you come down to los angeles 3.94 santa ann 3.29 and down at san diego they're even going to get in on the action 1.3 my friends over at lake havasu 0.42 and everybody over in vegas 1.39 so you can see that the majority of it's going to be up here you get the atmospheric river returning back to california very very soon and we'll definitely be watching this this is good news bad news you definitely don't need all this all at once but you can definitely take as much as you can get let's roll over to tropical tidbits and see what's going on as we roll over to tropical tidbits you can see here comes the storms the first one is coming through and it's a prolonged one and then another one follows that's the second one and it's pretty intense as well and then here comes a third one in behind it so more rain and then a fourth one behind that and it's pretty wound up pretty tight but it kind of dissipates although it still produces with another one following it 995 that's incredible and then another one hits after that and then another one after that so we are looking at a prolonged wet period possibly in the next 16 days coming to northern california mainly with a little bit down south as well so we'll be watching this this is really going to be a wet season you would almost think that the la nina is gone you would think this was more of an el nino however an el nino has more of these tracks coming down further south so the el nino will swoop through and it'll hit the rockies over and over i heard we are going to a neutral so we'll be watching to see if that comes to pass let's roll up to lake oroville next lake oroville in the last 12 hours has come up a little bit the rain has increased a little bit you are currently now 15.06 so they had received a little three tenths of an inch and this is at the dam so not in the valleys the valleys always seem to be a lot wetter than the dam itself so keep that in mind your outflows are currently zero your inflows right now as we speak 11.17 and let's go to the graph and see what's going on there as we roll out you can see that the lake has increased we are currently at 713.14 we're almost up to the last year's mark of seven 
116. So we're on pace for last year at this current time. Now, however, you got to keep in mind that there's a ton more rain coming. So we'll be watching this over the course of the next several days to see what ultimately happens. But check this out, 2.47 feet. This thing continued to increase. And look at 2021, it really dipped in the month of January before starting to rise. In 2022, it was still on the increase from all those earlier rainstorms. So this is good news. We will take it. The water level currently is 713.14 feet MSO. Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023 at 3 p.m. The level is 186.86 feet below full pool of 900. And we are going to roll out to Lake Shasta next. Here we are at Lake Shasta. And you can see that they have more of an outflow than Lake Warville does currently. Your outflows are currently 1,222. Your inflows are currently 3,016. They haven't updated the 1,500 hour mark or the 1,600. They haven't come up with any of those inflows or outflows just yet. They will eventually. So we'll be watching this. This lake's going, getting ready to rise rapidly if we get as much precipitation that's coming down the pike. Let's roll over to the graph and see what's going on there. Lake Shasta's water level is currently 928.85 feet MSL. Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, 3 p.m. The level is 183.15 feet below full pool of 1,066. Seven. Changes since yesterday, 0.32 feet, and you can see that it was a lot higher in 2021 and a lot lower in 2020, unlike Lake Oroville. So that's what's going on at Lake Shasta. We are going to roll down to Lake Folsom next. Folsom's outflows are 21,870. They really have ramped this up, probably with the anticipation of all the rain that's coming, but I'll show you on the graph here in a minute that this is pretty normal. Starting January 1st, they start releasing a lot of water at Lake Folsom. So your inflows are currently 8,218, a far cry from the 100,000 that was coming in just the other day. So it, it fluctuates. It was at 7,025 at noon and they haven't updated the last two hours. So we'll be watching for those to come in in the next hour or so they should. And let's roll out to the graph and I can show you what I'm talking about. Just like last year, you can see that they release a lot of water this time of year and it's pretty normal. In 2000, 2021 they started allowing it to increase at the end of January. It was around March when they started allowing water to increase about the middle of March last year is when they started allowing water to increase at the lake. So we'll be watching to see if they continue to allow those inflows out. Current water levels 426.23 feet MSL. Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023 at 3 p.m. The level is 39.77 feet below full pool of 466. Changes since yesterday, 2.39 feet. So that's incredible. You would think that it would go the opposite way, but not with all the rain, but they decided to release water, but there's more rain coming. So there's that. We have that to go on. We'll see when they start allowing water to fill the reservoir again. Here we are at your current reservoir condition. California major water supply reservoirs. You can see that Chest is about 34% of full. Lake Oroville is 38% of full. Folsom 61% of full. New Bullard's Bar is 70% of full. Trinity's 23% of full. We haven't talked about Trinity in a while. And San Luis is 35% of full. Diamond Valley's 61% of full. Millerton 77% of full. Pine Flats 28% of full. What is the lowest? The lowest is Trinity. Trinity is 23% of full. So here is all that. If I didn't get to yours, I'm sorry. I don't know some of these names. And this was as of December 30th for some of them. So I'm looking at the 8 to 14 day U.S. hazard outlook. And they're talking about heavy precipitation from most of California and heavy snow in the Sierra mountain range here. So we will be watching that to see if that comes to past. As I just showed you, we go out to the extended forecast. The next 30 days from December 31st to January 2023, the end of it, you're talking about above average in the Colorado, in the Great Plains here. Like here's you have above average here and then 33 to 44%. So this is good news for the Colorado. We'll be watching to see if this comes to pass. We come to the 90 days and they say that equal chances here and above up here and below here. So we'll see if this comes to pass. This is January, February, March 2023. Here's your drop map. You can see that your drop map is currently 
here. I'd like to see this in a couple days. This was taken on December 27th. I'm sure this is going to change dramatically. We'll be watching to see if it does. And let's roll out to the snow map at California next and see what's going on. The last stop tonight is the snow map. We're at 48% for Northern Sierra Trinity area, 133% for this day, 69% for Central Sierra, 182% for this day, 76% for Southern Sierra, 206% for this day, and that breaks down to water equivalent to 13.7 in the north. 19.1 in the central and 17.3 for the south giving us an average snow water equivalent of 17.1 174% for this date is the statewide and 64 so we are on the positive note there's a whole bunch of snow coming according to the weathermen and we will be watching with anticipation so you guys stay tuned and we will be back soon you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one god bless